Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, I am here to let you know the very brand new concept of unit state function or the Heaviside function. And later on we will see what is the Laplace transform of unit state function and the important node on it. Okay, so without wasting much time, let us start with this unit state function. So unit state function or a heaviside function, heaviside unit state function uh, is defined and denoted by u of t. So whenever we talk about unit state function, we'll use the notation u of t. And if you talk about heaviside unit state function, we take the notation h of t. Okay, so this u of t has values 1 and 0. 1 for the values of t greater than equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0. Okay, now talking about the Laplace transform by the definition of Laplace transform of t, if you apply the Laplace transform of u of t, so what it should be? It should be Laplace transform of u of t is equal to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into u of t. What is u of t for 0 to infinity? It is 1 dt, right? So this is Laplace transform of 1 which is 1 by s. Simple. So this is Laplace transform of unit state function is 1 by s and hence is inverse is inverse of 1 by s is unit state function ut. Okay. Now you have the suppose you have the function f of t and if we multiply this function f of t by the unit state function u of t then the product f of t into u of t is given by we just multiply this by f of t. So f of t into u of t is 1 into f of t for t greater than or equal to 0 and 0 for t less than 0. Now, if you want to see the graphically what does it represent. So this represents uh, the product f of t into u, u of t represents a part of f of t. Suppose this is my function. So product will, product will represent only this. Okay. The part of the uh, curve uh, part of this product f of t be uh, to the left of t equal to 0 has been cut off. So that is uh, what you can see from the here uh, these graphs. Okay. Now the next uh, thing is uh, displaced unit step function. Okay. The second thing is unit displaced unit step function. Number two, displaced unit state function. Okay, so as you can see, the name itself suggests that the unit state function has been displaced, and it should be displaced by some factor. So, lay the factor is uh, a. So. The displaced unit step function is denoted by ut minus a, okay, and it is defined like it takes the value 1 for t greater than or equal to a and takes the value 0 for t less than or equal to 0. Now, if you want to see its graph, so suppose uh, t has value somewhere here as 1, so the graph of this function is this. So this is the graph of the function u of t minus a that is the displaced unit step function. Simple. So this is the graph of the function. Now talking about uh, the Laplace transform of this u t minus a. So we can go with the definition of it. Laplace transform of u t minus a. So what is it? By the definition of this Laplace transform of u t minus a is nothing but integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus st into u of t minus a dt. Okay, now what you can do, you can just break this interval from 0 to infinity as integration 0 to a e to the power minus st into u t minus a. So in the 0 to a, uh, we have... Uh, this this is a t less than a for so in 0 to a we have the value of the function to be 0 so i can directly put it as 0 dt plus integration a to 
infinity e to the power minus sd and we have the value to be 1 dt okay so when you apply this laplace transform of this so this is e to the power minus st divided by the coefficient of t that is minus s and limit a to infinity the first is 0 okay so this is minus 1 by s e to the power minus infinity minus e to the power 0 so this is minus 1 by s 0 sorry this is not 0 this is a s because the lower limit is a s e to the power minus a so this is e to the power minus a s upon s so this is the laplace transform of unit displace function and so we can uh, write the inverse l inverse of e to the power minus a s upon s is equal to u t minus a okay so that is uh, it yes now now suppose you have a function uh, say f of t minus a okay and is this function f of t minus a is multiplied by the unit uh, displaced unit state function displaced unit state function u of t minus b then the product f of t minus a into u t minus b is given by what is it is given by f of t minus a into u t minus b is equal to what it should be it should be just t f of t minus a right so the product should be just this t minus a for t greater than equal to b and 0 for t less than b okay so the product what does it represent graphically so the product f of t minus a into u t minus b represents the part of the function f of t minus a to the right of t equal to b okay and here the part of f of t minus a to the left of t equal to b is being cut off so if you want to see it graphically so suppose this is my function f of t minus a suppose i have this function f of t minus uh, sorry this is f of t and uh, And I have my another function which is this and this function say this function to be f of t minus a okay so this is suppose my f of t minus a right now the product of when you multiply this function f of t minus a to this uh, displaced unit state function so what does it give suppose here it is say a and here it is say b so what does it gives it gives only the part of the function f of t minus a at b only and that the values or the function f of t minus a to the left of t equal to b is being called off okay is being cut off okay so this is what we have here in this learning video in the very upcoming learning video we are going to take problems on unit state function and uh, then we'll uh, discuss about the unit impulse function and the periodic function so thank you for watching this learning video and keep learning thank you